Today, I'm gonna be making some ginger snap cookies using the Kirby Lane Cafe gingerbread pancake mix. Eric sent us uh, this to us from Texas, and so you don't have to make the pancakes. There are other recipes on here. There is a recipe for ginger snaps and old-fashioned gingerbread. And let's see, and then there's the pancake um, instructions, and there's the instructions for waffles. So you can uh, make lots of different things with this. It's all natural, has no trans fats, it's non-GMO. So to make the ginger snaps, you need one and three-fourths cup of sugar, one cup of butter, three eggs, and you need this entire box of mix and a half a cup of raisins is optional. I don't have raisins, so we're not gonna use raisins. So it's a good thing they're optional. Now, the first um, thing it tells you to do is to preheat your oven. That is a mistake. Don't do that because you are going to preheat your oven and then you're going to do mix this stuff up and then you have to let this chill in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So your oven is preheated and all that energy is being wasted while this um, cools down. Did I say cool off? You have to cool this off in the refrigerator. So all that energy is being wasted while you're, while you're letting this chill. That's the word, chill. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to beat my sugar and butter until it's light and fluffy. Now you want to add your eggs one at a time, scraping the bowl down. Next, you want to add the pancake mix and mix until well combined. Okay, this is well mixed in my opinion. So at this point, you would want to stir in your raisins, but since I'm not using raisins, I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to uh, put this bowl in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. So my mix has been in the refrigerator chilling for 30 minutes, and I did um, start preheating my oven when it was uh, had been in for 25 minutes and it is still heating up now but i figure by the time i get these cookies on a on a cookie sheet then it will be preheated there we go <laughs> I'll go in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes so i'll probably put them in for 18 minutes and uh and then we'll be back to try one for you. Okay, the ginger snap cookies are finished. This mix made 37 cookies. Wow. A lot of cookies. Now, ginger snap should be crispy, but these feel very soft and chewy. I just got it out of the oven. Yeah. These are still warm. There were some other ones that were completely cold. Should I have given you one of those to try instead? I like them warm. I figured you'd want it warm. Oh, uh, I don't really like ginger snaps because they're also hard. Right at first, you don't get a raw, strong ginger flavor. But give it a second. Mm -hmm. And it hits you in the back of the throat. Mm -hmm. I can see where these would be really good with mm -hmm. the raisins. Um, mm -hmm. I can see where these would be good with chocolate chips or um, uh, some walnuts, some sort of nut in there. I think that's really, really good. It is good. It's it's um it is a strong ginger. It is. But it doesn't it's not so strong that it hurts your throat. It doesn't burn, no. But it is strong. Mm hmm So those would be good to take on a road trip when you get car sick. Yeah, you definitely know. Yeah, because they say the eat ginger, ginger helps um, you. Um, when you're when you're uh, get I think Dithbusters proved that that did help. That when you get car sick. 
Um, just motion sickness. Injury. Motion sickness. Uh, this is a really good mix. I don't know how much Eric paid for it, but I think it's a terrific value, especially if you're going to make cookies out of it, because it did make 37 cookies. That's a lot of cookies to make. So um, definitely a good bakery. Good size. Oh, they're all huge. Yeah. Uh, they're, that's a pretty good size cookie. Yeah. That, that's, that's a very big cookie. Uh, yeah. To have 37 of those, mm -hmm. that's quite a few cookies. So thank you very, very much to Eric and I hope everyone else enjoyed the video. Um, I'd say uh, they have a website. It's www.kirbylanecafe.com. So if you're interested in this mix, go online and see if you can get it. I haven't visited their website yet, so I don't know um, what is on their website, but it's worth taking a look at, especially um, if this kind of thing interests you. So thanks for watching.